In the previous video of this course, we have added some of the components from Angular material and those components were toolbar, button and mat icon. And if you have noticed one important thing that in order to use these components, we had to import some of the modules from Angular material. Until we were not importing those modules, we were getting an error that this component is not defined in this application like that. This importing of all the modules from Angular material makes a very great concept. Let's learn about that. Let's assume that we are having three modules in our application. This is the first module, this is the second module and this is the third module. In all these modules, we want to create some of the components from Angular material. For example, I want to create a list in this module. Also, I want to create the similar list in this module and the similar list in this third module as well. So as per the current implementation, we have to import the corresponding module of angular material in all these three modules. So for example, if the list module is mat list module, then we have to import it here in this first module, then again in the second module and then again in the third module. And if we will import that module from angular material in all these components, then kind of we are making a duplicacy of code. Now let's take one more example. Let's assume that we are using some more components. For example, we are using this button over here and we are also using a button over here in the second module. Again, in order to use this component over here in this first module, we have to import the corresponding module from angular material in this first module. Similarly, in order to use this button over here, we have to import the same angular material module in this second module also. So this is making the duplicacy. How can we resolve this problem? What will happen if we create a separate module just like we have done in the previous video and we have created a shared module and in that shared module, we have added all these angular material components. So what is happening now? So what is happening now? All the angular material modules are imported over here in this shared module and we are using this shared module in all other application modules. Now using this approach, we can fix the code duplicacy problem. But again, this also has some problem. Let's assume that in the third module, I want to use a grid. I do not want to use this grid in this first module and the second module. Now what will happen? As per this design, if I am using the grid only in the third module and the corresponding import is written in this shared module. Ultimately, we are using this shared module in this first module and the second module. So the reference of that grid is also available here in the first one and in the second module also. Now, what is the problem in this approach? The problem is that these modules are unnecessary using that grid module. This is a great topic of debate among developers. Few developers prefer to use the shared module for the angular material components and few of them do not like that approach. They prefer to import angular material module in all the modules because as per this approach, we are not getting unnecessary reference in our module and the application will not be much heavy. Now based on the condition of your application, you have to decide whether you need to create a common separate module for your angular material or you have to import the angular material modules in all your modules individually. Now, if we talk about our application, this is a very basic application and in this application, there is not much dependency and we will not use so many angular material components. So the best is that we can create a shared module and we can import all the angular material components or modules over here. This is the shared module for this angular application and we are also having some of the components in the shared module. To make this application more better, we can create one more module and in that module we will have only the imports from angular material. Let's learn how to do that. To create this separate module only for the angular material, first let's open the terminal. And over here we have to write a command. We have to write ng g m. We need to create a new module and I want to create this module inside this shared folder like this. We can give any meaningful name to this module as per our need. So let's say here I'm writing only material and the parent module for this material will be shared module. So I can write it like 
the module is shared and I do not want to create a folder for this module I want to create the flat structure so for that I can write flat just hit the enter button and here you will notice that we are having one more module it is the material module if I go to the shared module then you will notice we are already having the reference of this material module over here let's refactor our code a little bit let's cut all these angular material modules from this place go to this material module and here I can write all of them inside this imports I do not want to use this common module so I can simply remove it over here like this and the corresponding imports are also available over here let's cut all of them go back over here just paste it we do not want to create any component inside this material module we are only creating it as a separate file for the material modules so there is no need to use this imports we can only use exports like this that's it now let's go back to this shared module let's verify do we have any reference of angular material over here no we do not have we are only importing it using this material module okay let's try to build this application just hit the enter button the build is successful and now let's verify the changes in the browser so for that i can serve this application by using the ng serve command just hit the enter button here on the browser you will notice that this application is working fine and we are having this proper toolbar over here this is how you can create a separate module for your angular material modules and you can use them in your application we are not using imports over here because we do not want to create any component inside this material module we are only using it as a separate file so we only need this exports array